What's up, Toy Hair? This is the ice cream episode, and there's a lot of Hagen Dazs. Let's go! Okay, found the Hagen Dazs that I want to try. All of them. Let's go! Uh, because it's a strawberry season, there's a lot of strawberry stuff. Like, you had a lot. See what I mean? Look at that. New stuff, caramel marble. Okay, lots of new stuff I want to try. Blueberry poppy. Oh, pistachio melty kiss. Dude. Brain caramel soda, nice. No, 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 nice. Okay, and also creme brulee. Let's go. There's so much stuff I want to try. Street Fighter Party. That's pretty much all Lawson has. Looks pretty decent in the evening times, as you can see. The vibe is definitely there with this Ditto Bridge thing. The Bridge Hotel. Making it sound like Resident Evil. First off, let's try the strawberry truffle. Mm. And because the weather is quite cold at the moment, so yeah, it's still a bit frozen. Alright, let's try to dig inside. Oh, make sure it's quite soft. There you see a lot of pips and the strawberry sauce, the strawberry truffle sauce. Looking pretty good, kind of like your strawberry chocolate chip. The truffle chocolate is a tiny bit different to your conventional chocolate. I mean, on the whole, it's nothing special, it's just strawberry chocolate chip. The name strawberry travel just makes it more exotic because everyone hears travel. Yes, they will blame. Not too sweet. On the whole, flavor wise, it's nice. And then that is pretty generic. Next one, we've got the brule, brule, brule. Oh my goodness, why three brulees? Let's go. In honesty, zero expectations for this. You've got the usual crunchy bits at the top. Rumbling, rum, rum, rumbling. Let's go. Do, 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 now I can understand why they have to repeat that brulee word three times. So crunchy. My gosh. Damn, this thing is so nice. Mmm. 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 That sauce there tastes kind of like condensed milk for some reason. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but it's just condensed milk in a way. But the service is top notch. It's got it. It's so crunchy. It's unbelievably crunchy. Beneath that really, really sweet sauce, you've got the creme layer. The bits at the top is like 20 out of 10. It's that great. Just that the sauce is a bit too sweet, otherwise it is amazing. Crunch on. Mmm. Captain Crunch, baby. Raspberry and vanilla pate. Let's go. Usually these sandwich things don't look too enticing on the outer. After you've had the first bite, yep, that's when it kicks in. Mmm. See what I mean? Raspberry sauce is everywhere, but it's more concentrated on this second bite. You've got this outer layer of white chocolate. Top and bottom layer, thin wafers, doesn't do that much other than gives it the extra crunch. Now for this one, it is a bit on the sweet side. The white chocolate, you've got the normal ice cream as well as the raspberry sauce. So there's like sweetness all around. Not bad. Next up, we've got this exquisite box. Oh, look at that shining gold. See that golden shine? Mmm, that looks exquisite. Very exquisite. Mmm, yes. Very distinguished. Literally, creme brulee. Let's see what's inside. 
even teaches you how to eat it. Let's uh, go. It's still pretty cold. Gentle tab or mad tab? Due to the nature of this flimsy hagen ice spoon, I doubt that gentle tabs will do anything to service. Good brulee, good brulee. Mad tab it says. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Okay, this thing is pretty hard. Don't destroy it too much. You still need to eat it. It looks like ice cream. Bits here and there. Okay, let's go. This is a work of art. Let's go, y'all. Hmm. Mm. I now know why people are mad about this. Mad as in crazy love for this shit. One thing that it does so, so well is this top crunch, man. It's thicker than your usual creme brulee crunch layer, but this one, you know what it also does well? It's the taste. Slight charred taste for this. Oh my goodness. And they did so, so well. How did they do that? This layer, holy mama. It's a bomb, yo. It's a bomb. Let's go again. I can literally just eat this layer. No ice cream needed, just that top layer. It's that good. Meanwhile, I've commented way too long on that top layer. Here comes the ice cream. Looks pretty generic. Yeah, why not? It tastes just very, very light. Slight milky cream flavor. But it's more of a compliment to the top crunchy layer. That crunchy layer, mwah, god layer. Highly recommend it. And lastly, I've got this bread. Strawberry bread. Now, this looks like just a bun. Not your pretty buns, but very generic. But it's just custard inside. What's so special about this bun? After squeezing a bit, you can see a bit of strawberry poking out. Correction, this is a generous stash of strawberry sauce. Now, did this sauce make this bun? Unfamous, I mean the brand, I don't know, the thing at the center. Not ready for me. It's just very, very generic. What's so special about it, man? Bun texture's normal, quite soggy, cream center. Not really my jam, man. Not really my jam. Sorry not, we've got the strawberry jelly to finish things off and look at the bottom. Hmm, chunky bits. Nice. Ready, let's go. Try the top layer first. This stuff is so, so light. Mildly sweet. This is a really, really good dessert to wash all that sweetness away from your mouth. Do it. Mm, still not sweet. Yo. <laughs> I don't know whether it's a good or bad thing. This thing, it looks sweet, but it's not sweet at all. Comparatively to the stuff that I've had just now. It's nice, refreshing, and it's got zero calories, I think. Or not, if you like your sweet stuff, go for the conventional Hagen-Dazs stuff. If not, go for this jelly, zero calories.